الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على إمام المجاهدين وإمام المتقين أشرف الأنبياء محمد بن عبد الله صلى الله عليه وسلم اللهم إنا نسألك إيمانا كاملا ويقينا صادقا وقلبا خاشعا ولسانا ذاكرا وتوبة نفسوحا وتوبة قبل الموت وراحة عند الموت والعفة عند الحساب اللهم حاسبنا حسابا يسيرا اللهم هون علينا سكرات الموت وتوفنا وأنت رادنا النا يا رب العالمين عمر بن الخطاب أمير المؤمنين رضي الله عنه he said حاسب نفسك قبل أن تحاسبه hold yourself to account before you are held into account سبحان الله we are in a position where we are forced into remembering Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and how unfortunate are some of us who are still in the state of heedlessness غفلة the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said take advantage of five and one of those is to take advantage of your free time before you get busy how many times and how often have we have found it very difficult to worship Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala وَلَا تَكُونُ كَالَّذِينَ نَسُوا اللَّهَ فَأَنْسَاهُمْ وَأَنْفُسَهُمْ أُولَئِكَ هُمْ الْفَاسِقُونَ Allah said in Surah Al-Hashad Do not be of those who forgot Allah and Allah made them to forget themselves Abdullah ibn al-Mubarak rahimahullah one of the great names of Islam Al-Abid al-Zaid al-Mujahid the great worshipper and the ascetic and the and the Mujahid the warrior in this in 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 this scene um, he was asked in the masjid after the Isha prayers what would you do if you knew this was your last night and we can also ask ourselves what would we do if we knew this is our last night there are abundance of deeds that we could do but what did Amr Abdullah ibn, Abdullah ibn al-Mubarak rahimahullah answer? What did he say? He could have said many things. But he said something in, in, in particular. He said, I wish I was literally, I wish I was writing. I wish I was learning. Implication. Implying knowledge. He was implying knowledge that they understood the sanctity of and the sacredness of knowledge in Islam. They understood the verses of Allah, the signs from the Quran. Allah said, يَرْفَعِ اللَّهُ الَّذِينَ آمَنُوا مِنْكُمْ وَالَّذِينَ أُوتُوا الْعِلْمَ دَرَجَاتِ وَاللَّهُ بِمَا تَعْمَلُونَ خَبِيرٌ Allah says, Allah will raise those amongst you who believe and those who have been given knowledge in ranks. And Allah is well acquainted with what you are doing. They understood one of the ways to reach heights, one of the ways to reach very noble station in the sight of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, to be elevated and raised in His sight. Azza wa Jal is through knowledge. One of the best ways of seeking knowledge and one of the main principal ways in this world that we can attain knowledge to get closer to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is Al-Quran. With this same man, Abdullah ibn Mubarak, rahimahullah, he said, for me to spend the entire night contemplating on one verse of the Quran is far beloved to me than spending the entire night in Tahajjud. And Tahajjud, as we know, is a very special time for the believers when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala descends that suits his majesty and responds to the dua. And it is the greatest of the sunan, dua, sunan times for sunan salah. But he spoke about the Quran. On one verse, to reflect on one verse, أَفَلَا يَتَدَبَّرُونَ الْقُرْآنَ Allah says in Surah Muhammad do, not, do they not ponder over the Quran or are their hearts sealed? I ask Allah SWT to open our hearts and that we can benefit from the gems and the diamonds and the jewels from the Quran. And isn't this the time for us? These times of calamity, destruction and wrath and death. 
ألم يأمن الذين آمنوا أن تخشى قلوبهم لذكر الله Has the time not come for those who have believed that their hearts become humbly submissive in the remembrance of Allah, meaning the Qur'an, وَمَا نَزَلَ مِنَ الْحَقِّ and what has been revealed to them from the truth. What are we waiting for, brothers? This is our time to change and reform and make promise to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that we are seeking His forgiveness from our sorry state of ghafla, heedlessness, jahiliyyah, ignorance, sins and oppression and we are returning back to him whether we see tomorrow whether we see daylight whether we pass this coronavirus that we are changed individuals and that we will not have any regrets no we will not be of those in paradise enjoying the delights of paradise being safe from the jahannam seeing Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala minimum once a week but yes the Prophet sallallahu said the people in Jannah will have times of regret and those times of regret will be those times that they will remember in this world, in this dunya that they did not remember Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala they did not utter a word that could have benefited them in the next world in paradise hence the Prophet sallallahu said Two words are beloved to Ar-Rahman, the most compassionate. Light on the tongue and heavy on the scale. Glory be to you. And wa and, and praise and glory be to you, the most sublime. Do not belittle even La ilaha illallah, the utterance of these words. Do not belittle the words that will give us salvation and joy and delight in the next world. Let's not waste our time, my brothers. Let's take this opportunity and show Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that we are changed individuals. إن الله لا يغير ما بقوم حتى يغير ما بأنفسهم